When creating your development plans using the Mahara ePortfolio system, you might like to use the plan tool that's already built in to Mahara. And in this demonstration, I'll show you how you can add your own plan to your pages. In this case, if you look at my development plan here about wound care, you can see the plan that I've created uh, with completion date column, objectives I've set myself within the plan, and uh, a column to show that I've completed the tasks. And you can drop these for down for further information about the tasks that I've set myself. So in order to create this plan and then add it to your page, you need to go back to your Mahara dashboard. And then here you can see within content the different elements that you can create and with a view to adding to your page. And in this case we want to add a, and create a new plan. So if you click on plans, you'll see where here the wound care development plan that I've created that I just showed you. And this, in this uh, demonstration I'll show you how to do this. So first of all, if you click on new plan, you can then add a title to your plan. And then you need to give further description as to what you want to do uh, within your plan. So in this case, I'm going to develop my knowledge and skills in relation to wound care. And then click Save Plan. So here we've created a new plan, but we have no tasks uh, within our plan. So no individual specific activities that I'm going to undertake in order to, to further my development. So we need to now add our first task. So you can either click add one or new task. So this is where we add the first title of our task. So in this case I'm going to read the journal article about wound care. Then we need to add the completion date. So I'm going to set myself a few days to read that first journal article. And then you need to add a further description about more details about the task you've set yourself. So in this case I'm going to find and read an article about wound care in paediatrics. Once you've uh, added in your description you can click save task. And this will now add our completion date, the title, the description. So let's go on and add another objective into our plan, another task. Click new task in your title so this time I'm going to learn about the skin and wound healing. Again you're going to have to set yourself a completion date so let's give myself a week in order to uh, undertake this task and then you can add a further description so in this case I'll watch a video about the anatomy and physiology of wound healing. When you're ready you can click save task and that will add that objective into your list here. So let's add another task. So this time I'm going to learn about different dressings because obviously that's uh, an important aspect of wound care. Add in a completion date and then a further description. So this time I'm going to look at the evidence relating to dressings and ensure I understand why different dressings are used for different types of wounds. Again, when you've finished adding in your description, you can click Save Task and that will add it to our list of tasks. Let's add in one final task and this time I want to revise and practice my aseptic technique. Obviously this is a very important skill uh, that relates to the practice of wound care. Again we need a completion date, so May 14th. And I'm going to add in a further description that relates to this task. So this time I'm going to practice my aseptic technique using the space facilities 
and also try and undertake a dressing change for a child in practice using the aseptic technique and save that task. So here you can see your plan, your different uh, completion dates, your titles, the descriptions that relate to that. So now we've finished creating our wound uh, care plan, we now need to go and add this plan to a new Mahara page. So let's go back to our dashboard and our pages and you can add this plan to any of your pages or create a new page so in this case I've got a new page here called my new development plan that's blank currently so I'll click edit this page and then where your plans artifacts live is under general so if you click on general and here you can see your plans so if you pull down your plans onto the page add it where you want it onto your blank page and here now Mahara knows um, the plans that I've created in the plans area and here's the new one that I've just created today wound care development plan so we'll tick that click save and you can now see that that wound care development plan has been added in with my completion dates my objectives with further description and obviously I am as yet completed these activities. To save your page click done and then we can go back and check my new development plan and here's my new development plan with the completion dates, the objectives as as I expected. So now the rest of my task here would be to, to use the rest of my Mahara space adding lots of um, different types of evidence in to show the, the articles that I've read, the videos that I'd watched, the different uh, evidence and uh, research that I found around dressing changes and also any resources that I could find to show um, my um, skills relating to aseptic technique and maybe a reflection on the practice that I'd undertaken in the clinical area.